In the world of investing, Peter Lynch's name resonates with unmatched success and wisdom. A true legend, Lynch steered Fidelity's Magellan Fund from a mere $20 million in assets under management in 1977 to a staggering $14 billion when he retired in 1990. Lynch's investment philosophy is straightforward and profound, paving the way for countless investors. According to Lynch, there are two fundamental elements to consider when selecting stocks. The first is the company's balance sheet, a pivotal aspect that underpins their financial health. A robust balance sheet can catalyze a company's growth, while excessive debt can weigh it down. To gauge this, assessing a company's debt to equity ratio is essential. The second key factor is identifying a compelling turnaround story. Companies that were once in the doldrums but are now showing signs of revival often present fantastic opportunities. Lynch emphasizes the importance of discerning new companies, assessing their balance sheets, and looking for these growth narratives. While scrutinizing financials and identifying strong turnaround stories are paramount, Lynch advises against chasing speculative stock rallies. It's not about blindly investing in soaring stocks, it's about understanding the rationale behind a stock's rise. In this video, we'll follow Peter Lynch's timeless principles to delve into four stocks that recently announced their earnings. Their compelling financials and growth potential make them noteworthy additions to your investment portfolio. First on the list is Inter & Co. Inc., ticker symbol INTR. Inter & Co. Inc. is a multifaceted financial conglomerate encompassing banking, securities, insurance brokerage, marketplace, asset management, and service industries. Inter & Co.'s Q3 2023 earnings report is like a roller coaster ride through the financial landscape, with twists and turns that keep investors on the edge of their seats. The thrill begins with the revelation of a significant expansion in net profit, a breathtaking 62.3% increase compared to the previous quarter, erasing losses from the same period last year. This remarkable turnaround is enough to make any financial enthusiast hold their breath in awe. But the excitement doesn't stop there. The bank's return on equity, or ROE, also takes a thrilling leap, showing a 2.1 percentage point increase quarter over quarter and a jaw-dropping 7.3 percentage point increase year over year. It's a daring leap of faith that promises a high-flying future. What's truly exhilarating is the stability in delinquency rates, a sign that Inter & Co. might be reaching a turning point in the credit cycle. This stabilization is like a heart-pounding moment when the roller coaster defies gravity. Now, despite these exhilarating highs, there are some stomach-churning moments with a dip in net interest income and a sharp increase in personnel expenses, causing the stock to plummet 6%. It's a hard-in-your-throat drop, but the shares are still up over 90% for the year, reminding us that every roller coaster has its ups and downs. The ride is far from over, though, as Inter & Co. holds a bullish outlook with its ambitious 60-30-30 plan for 2027, aiming for 60 million clients, a 30% efficiency ratio, and a 30% ROE. This plan sets the stage for an electrifying future, and with strong product growth in loans and credit cards, the bank is accelerating towards its goal ahead of schedule. As the roller coaster of Inter & Co.'s financial performance continues, investors are in for an exhilarating ride in the upcoming quarters, with the promise of even more thrills and profitability on the horizon. The market's doubts are fading, and Inter & Co.'s quote-unquote super app model is gaining traction, leaving investors with the thrilling anticipation of what's to come. It's just a quick announcement. A few weeks ago, I recommended my private Discord server members to buy this penny stock when it was trading near 135 with a target of 250. But you'll be surprised to know that in a matter of just a few weeks, the stock jumped 390% to 530, where we recommended profit taking. Apart from weekly updates, we will be recommending new penny stocks like these with upside potential every week. If you're interested in receiving weekly buy-sell opportunities and options trading course, well then consider joining our private Discord server. Link to join is given below in the description. Second on the list is Celsius Holdings, ticker symbol CELH. Celsius Holdings is like the underdog in a blockbuster movie, facing off against the titans of the energy drink industry. And it's not just surviving, it's thriving. 
Despite a short interest of over 30%, Celsius continues to defy the odds with incredible revenue growth that's nothing short of extraordinary, soaring by a jaw-dropping 140.8% year over year. This remarkable feat is powered by its strategic partnership with Pepsi and its relentless disruption of a market dominated by giants like Monster and Red Bull. The naysayers might be in for a big surprise as the company hints at even more bullish developments, recently announcing a three-for-one stock split. Celsius is no ordinary energy drink company. Its diverse product portfolio boasts scientifically supported offerings that have consistently impressed in clinical trials. With flavors like strawberry guava and peach, Celsius has tapped into the health-conscious demographic with products that have been shown to boost metabolism and provide sustained energy for up to three hours. In the world of marketing and distribution, Celsius is a force to be reckoned with. The company strategically expanded its presence, reaching over 150,000 retailers, including major chains like Publix, Target, CVS, Walmart, and Kroger. Their multi-channel marketing approach caters to both men and women, setting them apart from their competitors. The game changer was when Pepsi became their official distributor in both the U.S. and international markets. This partnership grants Celsius access to Pepsi's distribution network, a monumental advantage that promises substantial growth. Now, In terms of revenue and profitability, Celsius is on a meteoric rise. Total revenue in Q2 2023 soared by 112% year-over-year, reaching $326 million. This incredible growth is credited to the successful integration into the Pepsi distribution system and expansion into new channels. The partnership with Pepsi is expected to yield even more growth in the coming years, making Celsius a compelling investment opportunity. Considering the growth potential, Celsius is a compelling story of triumph against the odds. With robust revenue growth, a strong distribution partner, and a diverse product portfolio, it's on an exhilarating journey that's likely to take it to even greater heights. Watch out for this bullish stock, it's only just getting started. Third on the list is CrowdStrike Holdings, Inc., ticker symbol CRWD. In the realm of cybersecurity, CrowdStrike isn't just another player. It's a formidable leader carving out its path to greatness. This is no ordinary stock. It's a powerhouse ready to conquer the world of cyber defense. And the reasons are nothing short of thrilling. When it comes to preventing cyber attacks, CrowdStrike stands head and shoulders above the competition. Rather than cleaning up after breaches, it focuses on stopping attacks from happening in the first place. The likes of Microsoft, Palo Alto Networks, and Broadcom may lurk in the same arena, but CrowdStrike is proving itself as the star performer. Let's turn our gaze to CrowdStrike's Q2 2023 results, and you might feel your excitement surge. The company reported a staggering 37% year-over-year revenue increase, reaching $731.6 million. Annual recurring revenue, or ARR, reached a whopping $2.93 billion, surging 14 times in just five years. Free cash flow, or FCF, saw a remarkable 44.4% increase. And if we take the FCF margin into account, it's an impressive 31%. The rule of 40 is a benchmark for high-growth companies, and CrowdStrike nails it with a jaw-dropping 68%. With a five-year compound annual growth rate, or CAGR, of 69%, this is a stock with serious momentum. As CrowdStrike has grown, its efficiency has soared. Gross margins have climbed more than 20 percentage points in five years, with an 80% subscription gross margin in the first half of fiscal 2023. Impressive? Absolutely. But the real showstopper is the fact that a remarkable 63% of subscribers are using five or more modules, showcasing the power of CrowdStrike's comprehensive solutions. What's the future for CrowdStrike? It's bright. Very bright. The company's total addressable market, or TAM, is set to expand to $225 billion by 2028, a massive increase from the $100 billion of today. With recent acquisitions like Bionic, CrowdStrike is well on its way to providing complete protection and visibility for the entire cloud infrastructure. In the financial arena, CrowdStrike is on a rapid ascent. It's been consistently profitable on GAAP basis, and the cash-to-debt ratio paints a picture of financial health. 
For the full fiscal year, the company raised its guidance, showing confidence in its growth trajectory. The future holds even more promise with exciting developments like generative AI cybersecurity analyst Charlotte AI and the expansion into global markets. CrowdStrike's vision is nothing short of exhilarating, and if its track record is any indication, this stock has all the potential to be a winner. In the fiercely competitive world of cybersecurity, CrowdStrike is not just surviving, it's thriving, and it's ready to rise to even greater heights. Watch out! This is a bullish narrative that's bound to keep you on the edge of your seat. The final pick of the day is Frontline PLC, ticker symbol FRO. The Euronav saga has come to a thrilling conclusion, and it's Frontline that has emerged as the hero of this epic tale. In a dramatic turn of events, Frontline has outmaneuvered all obstacles and is set to walk away with the crown jewels of the shipping world. Frontline's bold move began in October of 2021 when it acquired a 9.8% stake in Euronav, the Belgian shipping giant, and then rapidly amassed more shares. The aim was a merger between the two companies, but the founding family of Euronav, Savaris, returned to the scene, publicly opposing the deal. This triggered a fierce battle for control, with both Frontline and Savaris vying for supremacy, leading to a gripping deadlock. But in a stunning twist, Frontline managed to secure control of Euronav in a highly charged special general meeting in March of 2023. This marks the end of the saga and a new chapter in the world of shipping. The deal is nothing short of breathtaking. Frontline will acquire 24 out of 41 VLCC vessels from Euronav, all of which are modern ECO vessels, with 9 equipped with scrubbers. The average age of the fleet is a mere 5.3 years, making it a treasure trove of assets. The price, just below $100 million per VLCC, is a fair deal in a market where newly built eco VLCC vessels cost significantly more. Frontline will finance the deal through a mix of debt and the sale of its stake in Euronav to CMB. With a modern, operational fleet, Frontline is positioned to dominate the tanker market and take advantage of the strong fundamentals in the sector. Timing is everything, and Frontline's impeccable timing aligns with the favorable supply-side dynamics, increasing Chinese imports, and stringent regulations in the industry. With the demand for oil rising and a deficit of new VLCC vessels on the horizon, Frontline's prospects are incredibly bright. Frontline's success in this thrilling saga, combined with the strong fundamentals of the tanker sector, makes it a compelling buy. The company has secured hot assets at book value, making it a standout player in the industry. As the curtains close on this dramatic story, Frontline emerges as the ultimate hero, ready to chart a course to unparalleled success in the shipping world.